Okay, just gonna do a little quick video here. Anyway, while I was out today, I came across these three interesting looking items here, just sitting there in a skip. Decided to take them home and see if I can make any use of them. Tell you, my arms feel about 15 feet long after carrying this stuff back. So anyway, let's take a closer look at what we've got here. So, first up we have this radio tuner. I imagine this is the this, this was the main part of the system as well because we've got a main power switch here and a system power switch. Along the front we've got preset buttons, uh, other buttons here such as tuning, band selection and things like that. And on the back, and I think this is going to be a pretty good tuner, also, the other thing that makes me think that this might be a pretty good tuner is that we have... So I've still got a thing in there for the FM antenna, but we've got... FM antenna... And separate medium wave and long wave antenna connections. Along the back here... Some weird connections here with loads and loads of pins. If I could just get the camera onto that a bit better, you might be able to see that. But that's not too much of a worry because we have built in line output, so that's what I'm going to use. The only thing that does suck about this is that the previous owner cut the cord off. So I don't even know if this still works, but if it doesn't, I'm sure I can fix it. Next item in our Trash to Treasure adventure. This, which is appears to be an audio timer. Not exactly sure what it does. Obviously it does. Obviously some kind of timer. Really not much on the back. A couple of switched outlets there. And a thing there for a remote control. That's about it. Again, the power cord has been cut off, which is a bit of a bummer, which means I'm going to have to put a new power cord on that. And on the front, there's just... there really isn't much there, actually. Just uh, buttons to set the time, and uh, that's about it, really. Most interesting item on my trash find. A linear tracking turntable. It's got a bit of a nasty crack right here. I might be able to do something about that, though. Got all the function buttons on the front there. Speed selector. On, um, queuing and things like that. Strangely enough, there doesn't seem to be a size selector. So I'm not quite sure what we, um, how that's supposed to work. Also, I don't know how this thing is supposed to open. Looks like this bit comes up, but it uh, doesn't seem to... I think that may have to be powered on before I can open that. And on the back here, that turntable needs to be reseated as well because that's come out. Mm. Really not much. We've got a weird connector here for something. Probably connecting it to the original system that it came with. And this looks like this was an ordinary phono output connection and again, yes, the power cord has been cut off. So in the upcoming videos there are going to be teardowns and possible repairs of all three of these items. This is the main one which I'm interested in getting going. There was also an amplifier laying in that skip but it was it was all bashed up and pretty much unrepairable so I just left that. I really, I couldn't really do much with that. But anyway, stay tuned for a special three-part episode of Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop. And until next time, goodbye.